Frost cloth, a breathless veil, a verging of needle, spine, and fiber on unwoven parades of uncovering grades, unfolding for all you lies and any unseen cricket cries. I could never foresee every single busy bee which might have brought you here to me. Maybe it's the position of the planets or the nature of the stars. Perhaps you're just planning to grow cactus on Mars. The small ant carries a heavy load on scented pathways and then down into the cavernous farm she goes, down to the nutritious mushroom chambers she sows. A plastic facade scrapes the sharp succulents on chilly days under heaven's gaze, and we're catching energy ablaze in a small dizzying maze with wave fronts completely out of phase. Look, Mom, it's the latest craze. Pass through the lanes of internet chains and behold the wonder that plants can grow under. The savage sun in far off space strikes atoms down way, way deep inside, and so begins the diverging slide of a billion zigzag stride that so many common photons may ride. The tired rattlesnake sleeps in fractured stone under rocky hills of an old volcano's cone. The uncountable impressions play on the mind today in ghastly shades of white, green, and gray. The textile mills produce a fabulous river of cloth with spun-bound methods of melding the polyester thread. So we turn the rotations and lay out the webs of insulating spread. And lo, the weeds of our dread will still come back to each and every bed. The magnetic lines are quite powerful indeed, but even a mobbed gang of them could never hope to be freed from the compounded grips of gravity's greed. When small furry creepers seek warm sheltered burrows and hollowed holes beneath cool metal rolls, I sigh and remember the avid tolls of our ever more mysterious souls. I hear the phantoms speaking all around, and from beneath each of the windblown covers that abound, come the woes of the long ago lost in an eerie high-pitched sound. Walk within the columns of bloated cuttings deep, and soar among the clouds of what almost looks like sheep. What's that one there, by what name is it called? Well, I cannot say, because I'm simply appalled at the milieu of drapery that someone installed. The long termite queen is carefully tended and kept quite clean by an army of small sisters in her dark sunken throne room far beneath your back porch misters. From high and from low, from left and from right, it doesn't matter if you watch this during a midday coffee break or late into the night. From every rabbit trail and coyote's den and from every animal that I could never hope to pen, shall ring the echoed calls of a cold winter's end. From that cozy recliner in the Red Canyon Desert to the vast fields of the Arizona riches, we have one request for you, my dear, to break the bounds and strike a cheer, for then perhaps you'll never fear to branch out a little and grow more cactus than I've shown here. Remember, I'll never know what you thought of the show, even after reading your comments below. Shall we go?
is. Coral snake release. See you later, little buddy.